Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your Spirit Guide messages for June. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you new or returning, welcome and thank you. So let's see what Spirit wants to tell you at this time for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. This is a general collective reading, and we'll see what we have. So I'm going to pull three oracles from each deck, and then I'll clarify those energies with tarot. So what does Gemini need to know at this time from Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe at this time. So I have the Fairy Oracle, Mermaids, and Unicorns. And they are listed below if you're interested in them, along with a ton of other information. So feel free to check that out if you would like to. How to reach out for personal reading. Tons of stuff down there. So let's get three messages for Gemini. What does Spirit want to tell Gemini at this time? Show me what I need to see for Gemini. Well, we got three right here. I'm going to pull the three oracles from each deck first, and then we'll look at those, and then we'll clarify the energies we have here with the tarot and see what messages we have for you. So they could be all individual little messages. It could be one big messages, uh, one big message, or several messages. We'll see how it comes out. So please only take with you what you feel like uh, resonates for you. Everything here may not resonate for you, so please keep that in mind. Energies could always be past, present, or future, so please keep that in mind also. And you can find your playlist below if you'd like to go back and watch past readings. Your love and general uh, playlists are down there. You'll find the spirit messages under the um, general section. All right, if you're new, welcome, welcome. Feel free to check out my channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to you know, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. We greatly appreciate it. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. Right now, you get at least four readings a month, um, all different. So there's a variety and there's something for everyone. So if you do, welcome and thank you. All right, and welcome to the family. Get your energy in here so we can grow the channel. Spread the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So, well, we got three right here. So I'm going to turn them over for now. All right. Let's see what we have for you, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know from the Fairy Oracle from Spirit? We have make music. So, uh, I mean, you know, if you, some of you are musically inclined, that could be, you know, you need to... Uh, get back to making music, or this could be just making something happy in your life. doesn't necessarily have to be music, but something you enjoy doing, something that brings you peace, harmony, um, enjoyment, you know, happiness. It's kind of like, I feel like the energy of making music, like making your own happiness, your own music in some way, shape, or form. Or maybe some of you, if you really love music, uh, listening to it or whatever or even writing music or whatever it's time to or if you want to learn a new instrument maybe it's time since we're all, all in quarantine so let's see what the next message is here peace of mind so there may be something here um, that you have heavily on your mind and you're trying to gain clarity uh, enlightenment you know perspective insight on so that you can have peace of mind or some of you could just be in the state of being, you know, kind of at peace and, uh, you know, kind of happy right now. So we'll see when we get to the tarot. And here we have honoring your true feelings. So this is about being honest, sincere, open, uh, not hiding who you truly are or hiding your true feelings about anything in any situation. No, not masking your truth and who you are for others also and embracing them. And expressing them too. So let's see what we have from the mermaids. We have positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. So some of you need to get in higher vibration uh, to avoid negative situations, people, places, things, your own energy, your own thoughts. Uh, and it's time to be more uh, optimistic, not pessimistic. If you're fine, you're in that energy. It's time to raise your vibration. Let's see what else do we have here we have wait don't rush into action right now buy your time for better results so there's something you need to wait on um so we'll see we get into the tarot i mean you could be you know applying for a new job 
Uh, you could be wanting to approach somebody. You could be, I know there's some, whatever your situation is, only you know that. Whatever it is you're trying to do, trying to accomplish, trying to uh, pursue a new endeavor, project, job, relationship, whatever it is. Um, I feel like until you gain peace of mind, the knowledge you need or whatever here, it's telling you to wait before you make your next move, I feel. And also with this positive energy I'm getting is related to music. So maybe some of you just need to maybe meditate to music or exercise to music or something which involves music that puts you more in a positive energy. Doesn't necessarily mean, you know, uh, making music as in, you know, writing a song or, you know, playing an instrument if you don't know how to do that. But definitely something here involving music for some of you. And we have here synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So if you're noticing things are happening uh, to you, I mean, they could be good, they could be not so good, but it's just things like happening one after the other that shifts your perspective, that shifts your uh, energy or a situation and it changes the dynamic of things. It's synchronistic events happening to you for a reason, a purpose from the universe, either to get you to change, shift, move, or do something you've been procrastinating about or something like that. It's all divine energy from the universe to get you to change or move or shift if you've been kind of stuck. Also, so pay attention to those things and you can work with that. Realize, okay, the universe is pushing me in this direction, so maybe I need to go in that direction or look into that direction or gain you know, the knowledge or the insight or whatever here so I can go with the flow. All right, let's see what the uh, unicorns have to say. So we have hello and goodbye. You'll soon see that this change will make things better. Exactly, and I see that over here. So it could be, you know, friendships coming to an end or gaining new friendships or leaving one job to go to another job or even changing residence or something here. It's like, Hello and goodbye, you know. <laughs> Hello, but uh, goodbye. So that totally makes sense. And we have true. Yes, what you're asking about is the truth. So I feel like this almost all comes together here. Um, gaining clarity, perspective, peace of mind. It's telling you to wait till you have that, till you seek the truth in a situation. So whatever you're seeking or whatever you're seeking or feel or your intuition or whatever knowledge that you gained, you may be doubting it, but yet you know it's true, but saying, oh, no, that can't be true, but it's here to say, yes, it is true. So that could be one message right here. If not, it could, it could be separate. So let's see what the last message is here. So we have try something new. You'll only know that you can do something if you try. So <clears throat> I feel like here this is going to synchronicity. Something new is coming in for you, and I think the universe is pushing you in that direction by events happening in your life and, like, pushing you out of a situation or something, relationship, whatever it is for you right now. And you can kind of sense the universe is shifting and changing you to leave that, whatever it is for you, and go in a new direction. But it's telling you to try something new. So I think this new direction is meant for you. So notice how things fall into place, how things happen and the direction you're being pushed into. And honoring your true feelings, maybe, you know, if you have a hunch or an intuition or something here about, you know, I think I might have to do that or make this change or, you know, whatever here. It's, you know, honor your intuition and your higher knowing and your gut feelings. All right, so let's clarify these energies for you, Gemini. Clarify these energies. For you, Gemini. If you like a personal reading, all that information is down below. Also, um, social media links, tons of stuff down there. So, like I said, please check it out. All right, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify these energies for you, Gemini spirit, please. Thank you so much. What we need to know right now. What is this to make music about for Gemini, please? Thank you so much. What is this to make music about for... Oh, that's way too many. I feel like the top, top one. So we have the world here. So I'm not going to be going over any signs since this, these are uh, messages 
from the universe, from spirit. Uh, so they're just messages, so I'm not really going to... Um, I may si say like an element, but I'm not going to get specific with the signs. Wow, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. So we have the world and the Ace of Pentacles. So the world is about shifts, changes, closures, new beginnings, letting the cycles end. And then we have this brand new opportunity coming in, a blessing in disguise or just a blessing gifted to you by the universe. It's stable, secure, and grounded for the long term, something you can bank on, something you can trust in um, that will bring you growth, prosperity for probably the remainder of your, of your days. And you may be walking down a new path. So what I'm getting here with make music, it's time to, oh, I feel, you know, journey down a new path here. Make a new kind of music for yourself. Something more stable and ground. You see all the growth and expansion with the flowers here. And the world to me always represents, you know, like earth and the world and growth, expansion, new things. So I feel like uh, making music here is like, the birth of something new here and raising your vibration on this new path that's more stable for you all right so what is this peace of mind about for gemini what is this it came out reversed you know i don't feel comfortable taking that so let's see peace of mind peace of mind for gemini peace of mind for Gemini, definitely that one. One more for Gemini for peace of mind. Okay, so we have, wow. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So the King of Wands, someone very fiery, passionate, go-getter. Could be an entrepreneur, very creative, has a lot of ideas. Uh, they really go after what they want. Um, could be a business owner, like I said, an entrepreneur or something like that. But the Ten of Pentacles here, I feel like... There's either something with a new endeavor, project, idea, something creative, or something involving a home, a home purchase, a move um, here. The Ten of Pentacles usually represents marriage, um, you know, legacy dynamic of a marriage, sharing assets, everything, family, um, generations. So I feel like some of you may be worried about either... You know, definitely during this time, people are probably starting to look into new opportunities such as, such as a new home business or a new business for themselves or creative idea or project or something, endeavor. I feel like there's a little bit of worry about something here that you may be doing. Uh, will it give you the Ten of Pentacles in the long run? Will it be worth it? Will I have, you know, stable growth and abundance with this new project, idea, creative opportunity that I'm going after? Will this bring me in my Ten of Pentacles for the long term? Where well, I'll never have to worry. Well, it'll bring me growth and abundance for the future. So I think some of you definitely here are trying to get that peace of mind that you're on the right path. And I feel like you're very fiery passionate about this, some of you here. But you're a little worried if, you know, you'll, you will have the Ten of Pentacles. But the Ten of Pentacles is here to say yes. So I really don't think you have to worry about that. So if it's not that, I mean, it could be a new job you're starting or a new career direction or something like that. And you're a little worried, you know, is this going to profit for me, like my past career or something like that in the long run? And I think it will. So I think you have uh, peace of mind about that because you have the Ace of Pentacles right there. So there's the Ace to the Ten and here's a new chapter and closing out that old chapter and being in that fiery passion energy and just going after it. All right, it's, I feel like it's like time to make music in a new direction. That's how I feel with that. So let's see what this uh, honoring your true feelings is about. So the, for some of you, this may have to do about love. Um, so if there is, for some of you, if some of you are married or whatever, some of you are single, again, only take the messages that resonate for you. But if some of you are single and you're a little confused or you have options or you're not sure about a situation, how you truly feel, if you really express how you truly feel here with the Seven of Cups, kind of like that daydreamy, confused, um, you know, decisions, options kind of energy, not sure. The Knight of Cups is someone here who moves forward in love with their cup of love and they're ready to take action and offer their love, express their love, move forward in love. So some of you may be a little hesitant or confused 
about your feelings and moving forward in love or expressing your feelings about wanting to move forward in love. Maybe for those of you who are single, this is saying to honor your true feelings. You know, don't get caught up in your ego and confusion and that kind of energy. Because I feel like some of you definitely know how you feel. You know who you want. You know who you want to move forward with. You knew, know who you want to express love to here. And it's telling you just to honor your true feelings and come out of this confused energy, I feel. Or you could be a little confused how somebody feels about you. Uh, maybe you feel this way about them, but you're like, geez, I don't know if they feel that way about me. But the only way you're going to know is if you express your true feelings and honor them. All right. So, or this could be, um, you know, the Knight of Cups can be coming in with an apology, a peaceful resolution, peace, harmony, and joy. So if there's somebody um, that you wanted to make peace with, I think it's time to uh, take that next step. All right, so let's see what positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. What is that for Gemini? The Two of Cups and the Three of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like here, here's the Three of Swords indicating maybe negative people, situations, people that have hurt you, that made you feel sad, hurt, uh, maybe by their actions, their words, things they've done. But here, this is telling you to only align Two of Cups energy with people that bring you peace, harmony, joy, that are on the same page as you, um, that support you, that nourish you, that give to you like you give to them, and no longer surrounding you with the people that just hurt you, and to only be in this positive energy of those around you that reciprocate evenly of love, peace, happiness, joy, seeing eye to eye, sharing that energy. Could be a lover, friend, family, co could anybody here. But it's time to um, get away from these negative people that just cause you hurt and pain and be more of a positive energy, the Two of Cups energy. So that just, wow, clarifies that. So if, you know, you're like, geez, I don't know if I can cut these people out that you know, bring me this heart and pain. It's telling you here just to align with those that are on uh, the same wavelength as you. That bring you the sun and the happiness, not heart and pain. All right, so what is wait about for Gemini? Don't rush into action right now. Buy your time for better results. What is that for Gemini? All right, feeling these two. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. This also goes along the same message as up here. So I feel like these two are intertwined here. So I feel like up here, like I said, some of you are trying to gain peace of mind either in a new direction, you go in a new direction, new job, new career, or entrepreneur, or whatever, and you don't have peace of mind yet whether or not this is going to bring you the profit that you're looking for. So, I mean, we do have weight here. So maybe um, until you gain that peace of mind, I think you will. But until you have that total clarity here, it is telling you here to wait, don't rush. So maybe, you know, you need to find out uh, a little more about this. But here's the King of Pentacles. Again, someone who's stable, grounded, secure. They're cautious. They take their time. So maybe you do need to, you know, take your time, you know, find out more, gain new perspectives, you know, think cautiously, um, be practical, smart, and wise. But the King of Pentacles, you know, very resourceful, um, very independent, makes their money, makes their cash, very stable home life with the four of wands. Definitely some of you could be married, happy, committed. Um, again, two energies here, some are married, some are single. So how this resonates for you. But the four of wands could be a soulmate twin flame energy, someone that you're very happy, content, peaceful with. But this is also celebrations, ceremonies, and that kind of energy, but a very stable home life. And the king of pentacles is someone who's very smart, practical, analytical. So until you analyze... Um, and get like all the information you need to know and have peace of mind that you will indeed have you know a very profitable future and a stable home life uh again you know maybe being a little more smart and practical about this but i do see you know happy home and family stable life uh peace harmony celebrating ceremonies growth abundance the ten of pentacles so i think that will happen but I feel like only until you have this peace of mind. Because you have the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So the King of Wands is like seeing their future, knowing what they want, going after it. King or Queen, doesn't matter. Um, this is for male or female. 
but going after that water drive, passion, ambition to this King of Pentacles energy um, of being very stable, grounded, secure, independent, having everything you need, growth, expansion, you know, having your money, being very profitable. So I do see that coming in, but I feel like, you know, I could say it now, but until you internally feel it with 100% confidence and peace of mind, don't rush, take your time. All right, so getting fall energy. We're in spring right now. I got spring and fall. So you may see what you're looking for by fall. All right, so what does the synchronicity have to do with Gemini? Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So we have the Two of Pentacles and we have the Five of Wands. So I feel like the Five is about change, shift, challenges. This is Five of Wands, it's, you know, conflict. Two Pentacles, juggling, uh, trying to find balance, gaining your balance, balancing things out. I feel like, you know, the world, the universe is pushing you in a certain direction and you're noticing these events happening, but it's like you're fighting against it, which is making you very, very imbalanced here. Um, so there's a need here to just, you know, realize these events are happening for a reason instead of trying to fight it. It's like the, it's like you're playing tug of war with the, uh, universe here. It's like, no, I don't want this change. No, no, no. But the universe is probably going to keep bringing you tower moments, things happening where you're just being forced in this new direction. And it's just here, you know, you feel like you're like hopping on one foot and like trying to still resist it. But it's here to say that, you know, you need to find your balance here and stop resisting the universe. You know, I think it's just all synchronicity. It's just all going to happen whether you uh, fight it or not. So, all right. So, let's see. Yeah, Knight of Swords happening. It's happening quickly. It could be happening quickly for some of you here and you're really trying to resist it and fight it, whatever that is for you. All right, so some of you can involve moving, travel, uh, like I said, a new career, a new job. You know, maybe you're tired of your job and things keep happening at your job and you're like, sometimes I felt like that, oh, the universe is just trying to push me out of that job, you know, and it could very well be. So, I mean, it could be anything or a home, relationship, whatever that means for you. So let's see what hello and goodbye is for you, Gemini. So we have the Eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. So here I feel like this is a new opportunity here with the Page of Pentacles. Some sort of stable communication coming in, a stable offer. Um, it could be, you know, like I said, you know, maybe you apply for a home and all of a sudden the news comes in, you know, you have it or a job or something like that. And the Eight of Wands is about travel, action, um, kind of energy. So this is like, hello, and like, hello, here's the opportunity, and now I'm taking action, so goodbye. So some of you definitely hear, uh, this change will make things better. So it's like, hello, here's your opportunity, and here's you taking action. Could be about travel, action, movement here. You could be moving to another country. You could be moving overseas to another state could be just the next, you know, few towns over or whatever, but it's like, here's your offer and here's you moving and saying goodbye. So it's like, hello, and then goodbye, taking action. So I think some of you will be taking action on some, some, some sort of new opportunity coming into you. All right, so, and it's telling you, um, although you may feel a little uh, hung up on this, and have to think about it for a minute, but I don't think you're going to take too long to uh, act upon it. All right, because I think you will see, you will gain enlightenment, clarity that this is a better opportunity or change. So what is true about, yes, you are asking, what you're asking about is true. Wow, we have the Ten of Cups and the High Priestess. So internally, and I have felt that at the beginning, the High Priestess, your intuition, your gut knowing, your higher knowing, your gut feelings. Um, but again, the high priestess can be very quiet and not speak and, you know, keep to themselves. So you might have had a, you know, gut intuition, inkling, higher knowing or a feeling about something, but you kind of kept it to yourself. 
and deep within you're like, you know, I think it's really true. But we have the Ten of Cups here. So this is totally happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. This could have to do about love or just something um, that you know is going to work in your favor in some way, shape, or form. Just knowing it, trusting the universe. And you know you'll get your fulfillment in the end. And Spirit is here to say, yes, whatever your intuition is telling you about a situation, whatever it is for you, that you know you'll have all this fulfillment in the end, and your happiness, your joy, your peace, your harmony, Spirit saying, yes, it's true. So trust in that. Trust in your gut and your intuition. Again, it could be about love. It could be anything. All right. So let's see. What is try something new? You will only know that you can do something if you try. What is that for Gemini? So we've got the Eight of Cups and the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands is about going down a new path. So I feel like here the try something new is here you walking away from something that's old, it's boring, it's no longer fulfilling for you, whatever that may be. And you're going off to find something new and here's the two of wands so this is being at a crossroads and like okay i'm bored where i am i want to try something new i'm at a crossroads what do i do so now here deciding you know you've got the globe right here deciding exactly what you want to do and going in a new direction choosing a new path and walking down that path to something uh new that you want to do or try whatever that is for you maybe exciting because i do see Waves of excitement here. So maybe something new, exciting, uh, creative, whatever you're doing here. That you'll only know if you try. So I feel like this is some of you is taking that opportunity, going down that path. Picking a path and going down it and trying something new. So the universe wants you to know if you've been at a crossroads about trying something new, whatever that may be. It's time to uh, move in that direction. Wow, well, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, best of luck to you. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.